So Rolex or property. The reason why young people will never be able to save money or get anywhere in life is because when you got that philosophy, like, like and I say, I made a video about this. I'm sure you lot have seen it already. Where I was talking about um, buying a Rolex over buying a property in that. Let's say a Rolex does increase in value faster than buying a property in that, but it's a mind frame. If you feel like buying a Rolex watch is more important than buying a property, then you got your priorities mixed up, man. I don't know what else to flip him or say. Yeah, like buy a Rolex watch, yeah, but make sure you have a property first. Like, there's people out here that really got all of this figured out. Like, when I was reading the comments on this Instagram page that posted up this thing about the Rolex watch over a property, one guy was like, yeah, because some people were saying, like, yeah, but what are you going to leave for your use? Because for me, that's the most important thing about buying a property, leaving stuff behind for your use and that. One guy was like, oh, yeah, but you just get life insurance and that. So, you know, your use are covered. If I think so hold on a minute. So the only time my use of a beneficiary of my success is when I'm dead. Like, 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 like I would have to drop dead for them to get anything. Like, come on, man. Like, this is just stupid. I know I just said, um, you know, leave stuff behind for your use and that. But like, I, I don't want to have to die for my kids to get something off of me. Nah, man. Nah, man. Mm -mm. You cannot house your child inside of a watch. Yeah. The whole point of buying a property as well is so that you can move your child to a safe environment as well. So you have the choice. Not, boy, the only way you can, the, the only place we got for you at the moment, miss, miss single mum, yeah, miss single mum that don't have a man in her life or whatever, is Brixton Hill Estate. Yeah. Or Broadwater Farm Estate. Yeah, or Church End Road Estate, yeah, or Stonebridge Estate. Sorry. Yeah, or London Fields. That so, sorry, that's that. That's all we got for you at the moment. Where, well, if you buy your own property, then you can move where you want to. Yeah. Now, within reason, obviously, it's probably not going to be anywhere in London because London house prices are just off the scale right now. Um, but when you when you buy your own property, like I decided to buy this property here now obviously my options were limited and that but i still was able to pick this house i did not have to buy this house i had no government telling me or no local authority or high borough telling me you must live here this is your only option i picked this house because i wanted to buy this house yeah i made that choice no one made the choice for me I didn't have to do a transfer. Like so some of these people as well that live in these council houses, the only way they can move is if they do a transfer. So that means that, say for example, uh, this is a council house. The only way I can move out of this council house and go somewhere else is if someone is willing to do a swap with me. Nah, man, you want to you wanna be able to buy your own property to be able to control your destiny, you know what I'm saying? Like, be able to move your child to a safe area. Trust me, like, when I make these videos and, like, people f share my thing on Instagram and that, but I get bare pushback. The other day, a man said to the Blue Channel, go and check out the Blue Channel on Instagram. Love that page. Go and check out Mr. Blue Channel on it. He must have uploaded my thing talking about... Um, um, when I when I made that video about the Rolex or, or, or the property, and then some guy was like, "Ah, oh, Instagram is, um, social media is a facade." So he's basically saying that I'm lying, isn't it? I mean, myself, this motherfucker I really don't know it. But obviously, there is a lot of frauds out here, and a lot of people who do chat shit and that. But fam, it is, it is possible, isn't it? But like, there's people out here they just so influenced by the media, and they're like, "Oh yeah, Rolex watch is the greatest thing ever," and that. Come on, man. Come on, fam. The stupidness, man. This man out here would really go and rather buy a Rolex watch, yeah, over a fucking puppy. So if a man's got 25 grand, a man would rather spend it and put it on his wrist than put it into a property. 
Like, bricks and mortar will last longer than any fucking watch. Yeah? I don't think there's, there's, there's that much watches in circulation that are as old as properties, you know? Literally. Yeah? Yeah, there probably are watches, but the average watch ain't going to be 40, 50 years old, yeah? Where houses are, and they're forever going up in property, um, in, in value. Someone will always need somewhere to live, but people won't always need a watch to wear. And on that note, I'm out. In a minute, anyway. Yeah, if there's one thing you can, you're going to take from this video is someone will always need somewhere to live, but no one will always ever need a watch to wear. Exactly. Like, can you... Like, this is a question for you, look. Can you get insurances for your Rolex watch? I don't know. But I know my house is insured. If it burns down today, I'll get the equivalent or they'll build it back. I don't know, but I'm covered. Yeah? They'll put me up in a hotel. I don't even need to go and stay in a hotel. I've got a flat around the corner. I'll go back to my mother's yard. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with you know, buying a watch and that, but, but just make sure, you, you know, you're spending your money on the right thing, that like, if a Rolex watch was only worth a thousand pounds, then all right, whatever in it, but these men are spending serious money on Rolex watches, it's not no local one thousand pounds watch, you're fucking, you're, you're wearing something that's worth 20, 30 grand, if you're spending that much on a, on a watch, and and you become a target. Man will, a man will cut your hand off for a watch. 110%. There's certain men out here, there's certain men out here, a man will chop your hand off with a machete for a watch. No problem. I can guarantee you there's men out here that will do that. They will chop your hand off for a, for a Rolex watch. They will cut your, your hand off a 30 grand watch. But the worst thing about the Rolex watch, it, you know what? It's not even the Rolex watch because it, it could be a car that goes up in value. There's certain cars out here that do go up in value, like, um, shout out my boy Tyrone. Um, he's got a full focus RS. Those cars, they go up in value. And he was saying something along the lines of, um, I think, a Honda Civics. Some Honda Civics go up in value as well. But, oh, you're in North London, yeah? Alright, cool, say that. Um, yeah, certain Honda Civics go up in value, whole Honda Civic tie parts go up in value and that. But it's not even about the road, whether it's a Rolex, whether it's a car, whether it's a pair of trainers that goes up in value. It's the mindset. Because you're not really buying that Rolex watch because it goes up in value. That's just a byproduct, that's a bonus. You're buying that Rolex watch to stun. Because if you really cared about that Rolex watch going up in value, why don't you buy it and lock it up in your safe and never take it out? Because no one walks around with a bar of gold, do they? Yeah, you know, like a brick, a bar of gold that's worth 10 grand or whatever in it. No one does that. So if your Rolex watch was that much of an investment to you, why would you not lock it up and make sure you, like, you put it in a box and you never touch it? Yeah, you might look at it, polish it, <laughs> yeah, every now and then just, yeah. But you should leave that in a box inside of a safe. So I know it's not necessarily an investment. It's more of a, a show-offy thing, a bling-bling thing on your wrist. Because if it was that much of an investment, you wouldn't be wearing it around. Come on. Come on, fam. If your watch was really that much of an investment to you, that you was really trying to make money off of it afterwards, you wouldn't want to, like, you're walking down the road, you can bash your watch on the door and stuff like that, and then you're going to damage it. Come on, man. Come on, fam. You'd have that locked up in a safe way, safe. You wouldn't have that out on the road for a man to try and move to you as well. Walking around with Rolex watching that. Fam, what ends are you lot in, blood? You don't must be walking around in fucking Bromley or, or Loughton or some nice places like that. Cause boy, <laughs> man from the jungle, fam. If a man get a drop, oh, there's a man in Edmonton Green with a Rolex watch, man, then the walls will come out, you know. Man will be coming for you, fam. If I'm from an era where man used to go out robbing man for £50 mobile phones, blood. Made videos on this already, talking about back in the day when man was going out robbing people and that. Not me, not me, I never used to do that, but 
when men are going out robbing people, robbing men for 50, um, them Sony Ericsson Walkman phones and that. Yeah. Like, you never know. I might buy a Rolex watch one day, but I'm not going to wear it. Like, I'll lock it up in a box and that's just my investment. I'll treat it like it's gold. Because for me, it's just a product. It's just something that can increase in value. I don't care that it's a watch. I wouldn't care if it was an earring. I wouldn't care if it was, I don't know, like a, a golden nugget. I, I don't care. Any. It's just something that I've bought that will increase in value. So therefore, I'll just lock it up. I'm not going to wear it because when you wear stuff, you get wear and tear. If you want something to increase in value and, and achieve the maximum value, then you keep it in the most prestigious and clean and safe as, uh, I mean, like, you know, protect it as much as you can. So, yeah, man, if I was to buy a Rolex watch, because, you know, one day, because I made, when I made a vlog, I was talking about the Rolex watch. So when I made this vlog on Saturday, which is coming out in three days' time on Friday, I was talking about the Rolex watch. There, there's a, a Rolex watch place in Northampton, I mean, the town centre. One day, if I'm in the town centre, I'm on foot, I'll go in there and have a look just to see what all the hype is about. But if I did buy a watch for like five or six grand, I'll just lock it up in a safe. Keep it safe for a couple of years, man. I'm not going to wear it out on the road. It's not even about man trying to ting or whatever, in it, bro. It might get damaged. You knock stuff and shit like that. No, nah, man. I don't want to be walking around and worried that I'm going to scratch and damage the watch and that. Fuck that shit, man.